Hello, everybody. My name is Benjamin Cott. I'm the CEO and founder of Energy Deck. Um, we address the question and the challenge of energy efficiency and resource efficiency in buildings, but we never sell energy and resource efficiency. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why that is. First of all, what, what drives energy and resource inefficiency in buildings? Um, we're approaching this from the angle, angle of, of, a, of, a of a building, building portfolio, portfolio manager, manager, building owners, and large-scale environments, both in the commercial space and in the social housing space and, and residential housing. And the, one of the key challenges is that you have these multiple parties that are, that are contributing to that. If you look at the building, any building really that's sizable, you have these four parties from the landlord through to the tenant. And the problem is that data is split between those parties about the building, building asset performance, about the building uh, uh, equipment and fit out, um, and this generates limited insights or lack of insights into how the buildings are performing and ultimately lack into suppliers of building energy efficiency technologies like lighting. Overall, globally, if you look at it, you have $100 billion savings opportunities. I didn't make this up. I actually calculated it myself, so it must be true. Um, what is Energy Deck and how do we contribute to that? How do we help address this challenge? Well, first of all, we take data from a wide range of buildings, mostly commercial, large, complex office buildings, but also cultural. We could, we could work in airports and so on, through to social and uh, residential housing. Um, we can take data through almost any device. We were hearing earlier about smart meter, smart meter rollout. You have the nest there, so the, the modern devices, but also energy builds and, and manual reads and manual entries. And the reality is, in the built environment today, a lot of this data is manual or spreadsheet based. Then goes into Energy Deck as a web-based software as a service platform, and we then provide some analytics to it and, and databases behind it, and we generate outputs and what we would like to call actionable insights, depending on the different roles and users we have. These range from tracking and, and sharing, so tracking is more the M&T measurement and, and tracking, monitoring and tracking platforms, benchmarking, and we have a project's database, and that data we make, we make accessible to decision makers from the property owner through to the tenant. Um, now, there's a lot of platforms in that space, I hear you say. Um, lots in the M&T part, um, energy data, energy dashboards, pretty dashboards. How is Energy Deck different? Well, the first difference you've seen before, we're entirely hardware agnostic. We take data from a very wide range of, of input sources, and we can analyze it and present actionable outputs based on that. But really, what's behind the scenes is the thing that's most interesting. In our case, uh, it's two things. On the one hand, we crowdsource data from all our users across all the buildings we have in a database, and we're building our own building performance benchmarks that are quite technical. So we can say this type of building should consume this much energy because we have another 20, 30, 50 buildings like that. And we make that database accessible to everybody, all our users, in an anonymized form. Um, secondly, what we do, we also track all the measures, the savings measures people put into these buildings, be it a new lighting project, be it the new air conditioning units, building recommissioning. We anonymize the data, we can validate it, we, and, and we put it in a database, we make that accessible to all our users as well. So for the first time now, you have this database that tells you how your building is performing compared to similar buildings and what projects can be used in that building. The next step, not shown here, we're working on it, is to match these two and build a sort of recommendation engine that's almost fully automated. How does it work in the market? So I said earlier, <clears throat> we don't actually sell energy savings. It sounds weird, but if you think about who our target customer is, we have two segments, um, commercial real estate or large-scale real estate and um, energy and sustainability services. So in the real estate space, we mainly sell to, to large corporates, yes, energy sustainability managers, but also to funds, investors, um, who care about really other things than energy efficiency only indirectly. They care about operational efficiency. They need to manage a lot of data, different sources, different stakeholders. It's all Excel-based. We can help with that. They care about tenant engagement or landlord engagement if you're the tenant. Um, and they care about project assessment. So energy, energy accounts, energy is important, but it's only an indirect effect on you um, because, uh, because it, we, we can make your life easier on so many other levels. Um, for the partners, again, it's very similar. What we sell really is operational efficiency, is uh, stakeholder engagement, customer engagement, churn reduction, and so on. Um, here's a number of, of partners. We work with Skanska, work with Sony UK, um, and social housing. We have uh, 10 customers in the social housing space and, an, and a number of partners. Um, very quickly on the team, um, my background is Google. I used to work there for five years before starting Energy Deck three years ago. I was responsible for green business operations in Google, so exactly that, buildings, projects, monitoring, validation, all that. Stakeholder engagement, my COO is from CBRE, he was a consultant there for many years, and our CTO is from the banking sector. A um, few stats on Energy Deck, um, we've got the number of commercial customers, uh, users, 
um, pretty sizable order book, and we've got actually this information is outdated. A grant, uh, three grants now. Um, there's a bit more than 300k. We're not fundraising right now. Um, it's the first time I'm actually standing somewhere and saying we're not actually fundraising right now, but we will be very soon. We're looking to do a million to two million in CSA around mid next year. Thank you very much. <laughs>